How's it going guys? Dre here and today I am extremely excited to be showing you guys Mother Gunship. Now this is a brand new bullet hell FPS that just came out and uh, I've been actually following this one for a long time, a couple years now, and I am so excited that it's finally released. Now this is, like I said, a bullet hell FPS where you can actually craft your own weapons. So basically how the game works is we have to go find the mother gunship somewhere out there in the universe and take it down. Now it's going to have other uh, fleets to it where we have to take out those ships as well. And that's where this mission pad comes in. We basically we go into the ships, try and take them out and then come back to our hub, which is this. Now, throughout your adventures, you're going to get different modules where you can actually customize your guns. And you can also go into the armory, which is this over here. We'll learn about that later on. But, uh, yeah, basically, this is a bullet hell and a very good one at that. So, we're going to get into it, do the first mission here, uh, which I just did the tutorial, fought a really cool boss, and now we're on the first mission. Now, if we do this, we get a heavy blaster, as well as anything else we pick up along the way. Now, we're going to select mission. We can choose three things for the loadout. I'm going to skip all the uh, dialogue in this just letting you guys know ahead of time uh, if you do want to see the whole storyline and whatnot you might want to go watch someone else I'm all about the gameplay right now uh, if you guys want to see some more of the dialogue later maybe we'll keep it in but it is quite heavy and I don't want to uh, you know only show you guys dialogue so here we have the three different things that go into weapons we have barrels which do the shooty shoots we have the connectors which connect everything together and then we have caps which can do anything basically they're perks so with all this in our inventory, we have to build a weapon. Now, we only get three Lodo slots for this first run, so uh, we have to build a pretty basic weapon. I'm going to choose this one. This is a three-armed connector with three sockets. That's basically a generic connector. Should be good. And now we get to choose our weapon. This is where it gets fun because there's a bunch of really cool weapons in this game, obviously. And... Uh, I'm going to start out with something kind of basic, I think. I don't, I don't, the, the, the problem with this game is, well, not the problem. The good thing about this game is when you die, you lose everything. So you don't want to take your best weapons if you're not comfortable in the fight. I have no idea what's going to come at us. So let's try and use the energy stream. This thing's pretty cool and it's a pretty fast shooter. And then we're going to, do we want to do a cap as well? Or do we want to do another barrel? Let's do two barrels. So we'll do... Do we have any other energy? We have energy fireworks as well, which is a multi-shot with 15 damage. My other one's only one damage, but its fire rate is 30. This one is basically the exact opposite. Its fire rate is slow. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, we'll, cha we'll pick out some caps later on because they're really cool, but we should find them in the mission as well. All right, and here we are in our first ship. Woo! Did we ever come in hot? So yeah, basically, I'm literally raiding the ship, and that's what's so cool about this game, in my opinion. First of all, though, we have to create our weapon, and that's what we use these things for. So we have two hands. You can actually hold two weapons with multiple attachments on each. Uh, I'm only going to make one weapon right now because that's all I can make. So here is our three-module thingamajigger. Now, we want to add our stuff to this, so I'm going to use the energy stream on this side, and let's do the energy fireworks on this side, and you can customize it however you want. However you want you can also attach modules on modules so you can have a mammoth of a gun if you do want to so there we go we're done that we're going to uh get back here so now i have that gun and as you can see it does uh do a lot of damage and i also have a punchy punch on the other side until we get a new gun so uh, let's get into the first room and by the way this is procedurally generated so uh yeah all the rooms are random we can get really unlucky and die right away or we can get really lucky threat level is quite high for a first room here so hopefully it goes well Ah, uh, we have a 2.30, so this is going to be interesting. And I'm a little scared to move because they usually pop up right away. Let's go up. There we go. We got these guys down here. Going to take them out. They're, they have low HP, so they're always great to deal with. Uh, we got some dogs up here, as I call them, because they kind of look like puppy dogs. And we've actually run out of energy already. So the problem with having a big gun is you use the energy. Everything's... Uh, powered by energy, basically. So if you have a really mammoth-powered gun, yes, you can use it, but it's not going to last very long. So I feel like I kind of did too much with this thing already because you can see how long can we last here. That's as long as I can last. And then I have to regen my energy. So let's go into here. And we got a new shop. So if you look at the top left, that's my gold right there. Now I can buy whatever I want. And the great thing about this game is if we survive, we actually get to take these things back and use them wherever we want. Now, I didn't take any damage there. So I'm going to try and buy some things that look interesting. We don't have to technically lose the, use them right now. 
but we keep them when we leave. So we want, I don't need any more connectors, I think. The triangle chain gun sounds good. And let's keep the rest of the money just in case I need some health later on so we still have a little bit of gold. Now, there is multiple ways to go as well, usually. How many floors or places do we have here? We only have one. Sometimes there's multiple options, though, so you do want to look around and go to the ones that you prefer. Well, well. All right, but there's the first one done. We killed seven enemies. We did a little bit of damage. Now we're on to room two. And here we go. Let's just get into it. See what happens here. Oh, we got a guy right here. Didn't even notice that that was a guy. Uh, we also got a shield up there. You know what? I'm going to go for these guys first so I don't have to deal with them. Because these guys are one hit, basically. They're very easy to deal with. And we got some more guys over there. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Done. And let's get back to the hard guy once we realize everything's safe. I haven't taken any damage yet, so that's good. Uh, let's actually use this shield. Oh, never mind. He died. I'm, I'm, I'm way too prepared. I guess he died before I could even kill him. So uh, we got some more sockets in here. There's going to be lots of different stores, so we don't need to go and buy everything all the time. I still only have three gold. A dizzy mini rocket. Ooh, that's tempting. You know what? I'm going to buy that one. We might... You know what? Let's actually change my loadout here. Actually, I could probably make a new gun. I, I have a couple uh, connectors, don't I? Oh, never mind. I don't have a connector. I thought I brought one more connector with me. I guess we could buy a connector here, though. We have a connector. We, we, we have another three-line connector. That's only one gold. Let's buy that, and let's get another gun here just to be safe, you know? Uh, so let's try the Dizzy Mini Rockets. That sounds really cool. And we're going to finish crafting that, and we'll see what this thing does. Okay, so it's basically just random rockets that go everywhere. Now I hate this thing because now I can't precisely aim it, but it should be good for packs of smaller mobs, so we're going to keep that. Oh, look at that. A secret health spot up here, too. So we got some extra health. You do get perks as you go around. We got some max jumps here. By the way, I do have four jumps right now, so this is all about movement, this game. Uh, where do we need to go next? I thought it was up here, but clearly I have been mistaken. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we went down here to kill those dudes. So, oh, God. Okay, okay. Too, too much lava. All right, did not fall in the lava, though. We're still doing good. Everything's going okay. What do we got next? Threat level 2.90, room number three. Now, I don't know how much rooms there usually are. Uh, it seems to be like five or six, so we're about halfway through now. And I hate this, though. I hate that I have to move in to see everything. Okay, get the little guys first. There we go. Got them down. What do we got up here? Okay, so we got a, a, a rave ball up here that I got to get rid of and try and avoid their raviness as much as I can. Uh, let's actually use this thing. Not that it's it's very hard to aim this uh, dizzy cannon or whatever it's called. Do not like this thing at all. We're getting really lucky for rooms, though. Now I got some more gold. I'm going to start saving my gold, though, because I don't really need any of this. I'm going to take a machine gun just because I like them and I want to store some of them in case we die. Like I said, if we die, we lose everything that we got. So there is a real risk in this game of dying. Threat level progressively going up 3.20 now. It's not crazy hard, but it's definitely... A little bit hard. Okay, what are you going to do here? What are you going to do? Come on. Okay, we got a guy way at the end there. Ooh, these things don't go far, far enough to even hit it. Okay, and it shoots bullet bills. Um, Well, I guess I just got to go ahead and try and avoid everything. I can't really shoot anything. Oh, my God. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. And jump, jump, jump. Oh, right in the head. Damn it, I shouldn't have jumped that high. And there we go. Now we can kill this thing as we are nice and close. I'm going to stick right behind it and kind of do this move back and forth. Usually it can't hit me then. Oh yeah, this thing. I keep forgetting I have an extra weapon now. It really doesn't do that much damage either though, so I, I really don't like it at all. But there we go. We got that one done. And another store. Hopefully this is a good one. 20 health for two. That's kind of tempting. We're not, you know, we're, we're not that damaged right now though, so I'm not too worried. You know what? I'm just going to keep my money. We got four gold still which really isn't that much, and uh, I gotta figure out where we need to go. So, there's a lot of secrets in this game, by the way, too, so you gotta keep an eye out for those, but uh, I haven't really seen any just yet. I don't see anything up here, so I think we gotta go to the other side. Ah, there we go. We got another floor down here. Uh, is anything gonna pop up? Just because you're done doesn't mean you're actually done, so sometimes things pop up, and oh, God, see? That's what I'm talking about. God damn it. Oh, man, that guy is... Uh, it's a big old spider, man. All right, so he's throwing out explosive rockets. I really got to do be careful. This guy is uh, got a lot of HP as well, so we don't want to be too crazy here. But you can see it's pretty easily avoidable. I have taken a little bit of damage, though. I got, I got to take this guy down quick. All right, let's try and float in the air, float by, trying to avoid these as best as I can. As long as we bob and weave, 
Usually that works, but I am running out of energy extremely quickly. So what's this over here? We got a, a perk on the ground. Holy crap, did I ever jump high? Let me see what this perk is. Is it worth it? Max energy. Okay, so that actually is something that we need. I think I got hit by that, though, so I don't know if that... Oh, God, I got hit by something else, that's for sure. Don't know if the max energy was worth it, but we got it now, so no worries. And, man, this thing is just not doing enough damage. Oh, we did kill it finally, and I think we're at the end, so... Yeah, that was kind of like the final mini boss. I've seen much better bosses though. That was just a little guy, but I think this is yes. Oh God, maybe not. Uh, okay, no, nothing's killing me. My God, this is a cool looking room. So yeah, we have to press the button. Mission completed. So that's everything we collected in the uh, gunship, and then we also got the campaign reward as well. So that feels pretty good. We also got some XP that we can use later and some coins as well. All right, back at our ship. Please ignore the amount of advertisements. Basically, what we were doing on that ship was trying to pinpoint the coordinates of the mother gunship. Uh, and in doing so, we they kind of hijacked our system, and now we're seeing advertisements everywhere. Uh, but now we've opened up the armory, so this is the next thing that we can do, and we can actually customize our suit. So with that XP that we earned in the uh, fights, you can actually spend those points to upgrade your suit. So if you want more starting jumps, for example, you can do that, and a bunch of other things in here, as you can see. Uh, I'm thinking with, you know, just the generics, we're going to go for max health right now. The more health, the better, and did I just put that on there? Hold on, I want to see. Okay, it looks like it just does random things. Okay, so here we are at Mission Control now. We have the main mission, which is Intelception. As you can see, the intel we got last time was terrible, so they want us to get better intel this time. Uh, but also, we have this mini guy down here, and this is kind of cool. This gives you a loadout of things you don't need to spend your loadouts on. So these are basically given to you, and then you can basically go and collect more parts. So if you do run out of gun parts, you're not, you know, totally stranded. So I'm going to actually try and do this That's one, because I like the look of this, and I think we got to kind of prep for this other mission here. So let's launch this one, see if we can even do this, and then we're going to go to the next one. So it gives us a randomized loadout, I think, and uh, we got to craft a gun with this stuff so let's see we got two connector boxes ooh well it looks like it has a front attachment that's all i really need so we're gonna attach our energy burst to that because that's all we get and it looks like we got a cap as well anti-gravity generator so gravity negative three and damage plus ten percent interesting i want to see how that works so we're gonna finish crafting that and now we have <gasps> Ooh, I like it. So I don't know if it's my anti-gravity that's making it shoot upwards. I, that might be annoying more than anything else. Let's actually go back and take that off and see if that's the case. So now without that anti-gravity thing on it, yes, exactly. It goes right straight. So I think I'm going to keep it off for right now. The extra 10% damage might be worth it, but... I like a straight shot. And we should be able to find something that we can actually utilize that for as we go, oh my god, about here. Okay, we're starting off. Oh my god, I'm already out of energy. Oh my god. Okay, okay, start flying, because we got a lot to deal with in here, as you can see. And, by the way, this is totally randomly generated, so I'm thinking we got a pretty hard room right now. Unfortunately, my thing uses so much energy, I'm just not able to kill these little guys. They're hard to shoot with this slow ammo. All right, let's stay over here. It's clearly safer underneath these things. Because, uh, yeah, I don't got really any safe zones in here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's my HP at? Okay, I'm still doing okay. But just trying to avoid everything while dealing with this low energy is absolutely awful. Okay, we got health. That's okay. We got to kill the big boy in the middle, though. And this thing does no damage. Like, no damage at all. So I'm... Oh, it actually pushes me back as well. Uh, it really is not a good gun at all. So I'm hoping we can change this as quickly as possible. Ooh, does that damage me? Is that what... Okay, I don't know what hit me. I think I was looting something. Let's go buy a weapon upgrade, though. We got two gold to, to us right now, so we got to buy a decent one. Jelly container. There's so many different weapons in this game. Mini rockets, connector one long, connector three box. So all I got is the IM841 heavyweight. That's the only thing I'm really curious about. Uh, doesn't look like there's any more stores in here, so I think I'm going to buy that. The, the, the mini rockets might be good, but I want a fast weapon, so damage oh this is just a cap this actually might work for me though the velocity is slower which is a good thing with how much energy i'm using and the damage is plus 40 percent so i'm definitely gonna buy that and see if we can actually upgrade this gun instead of changing it so bam uh i'm going to go and use this thing oh damn it collision conflict 
No, it looks like it's fitting on there. Oh, I had to rotate it. Okay, so yeah, it, basically the, the only rule you need with this is you cannot have any sort of collision. So there we go. That's good. And now we should do uh, like five damage because we were doing three. So that's good. And bammo. There we go. It should be a little bit slower. Hard to tell. It's still really fast. Threat level going up, but again, quite low right now, so this is good, but um, with this gun, I need to keep my threat level low. Ooh, this is a small room. There's gonna be something in the middle, guaranteed. Oh, never mind. Oh, the little dogs. Oh, there is something in the middle. Okay, oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, I am already out of energy, so I have no choice but the punch. I think I should try and kill the dogs first, so I don't have to kite around these guys. Benefit being, I can slowly punch these guys and just try to kind of avoid the other guy the best of my ability, but he's kind of, he's a pretty big guy, so. There we go. Come on, dogs. Get out of here. And the final dog is gone. He's doing the shoot shoot, so let's shoot him as well. Yeah, this thing... Is it doing more damage? It's still doing three, so I'm wondering if that part didn't actually attach. I should go check that out in a second. Oh, I thought that pole would hold me. Did not keep me safe. There we go. Okay, so now we have... It looks like a dueling room here. I'm not really sure what that room is. And then we have the generic room. I'm going to go into this one. We haven't seen this before. I'm full health, so I'm not too worried. What's the threat level gonna be? Challenge, don't use right hand gun for 40, don't use right hand gun for 40 seconds. What am I supposed to use then? Okay, so this is a challenge. Uh, problem being, I don't have a left handed gun. I would totally do this if I did have a left handed gun, but as you can see, this room is already showing what it's gonna throw at me and it's a lot of stuff. Oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I might die here. I might actually die. Oh God. Okay, punchy punch. I, I I need to find a safe zone. There's no safe zones, man. Okay, these things I can't kill. This guy, of course I can. So we'll get rid of that. Anything that shoots a lot, I'm trying to get rid of quickly here. Let's stay up in the top. It's a lot more safe up here. Punch, punch. There we go. <sighs> okay, we're safe for a second at least. And watch out for the bullet bills. I didn't even see that guy coming towards me. All right, so we got bullet bills that we can't deal with. This guy here, these little guys we can take out slowly, but just rather punch them because they're one hit punches what else do we got oh god i spawned in more that was a bad idea there we go we slice and dice those oh oh we didn't even see you there sorry why am i saying sorry i'm fighting you guys oh my god i'm so canadian right now uh there's just so much on the screen guys this is uh this is what bullet hell is all about though so doing my best to avoid everything but when the chaos ensues uh i am gonna get hit quite a bit oh my god they just don't stop these little jerks in the air do not stop okay We've dealt with everything up here. What else do we got that we can actually kill? Uh, I don't see anything down here. Oh, okay, the guy in the middle. That big guy in the middle that is actually hiding from me. So I gotta try and, yeah, you know what, this would be, oh my God, the pushback is ridiculous on this thing. All right, but let's keep him out in the middle. There we go, there we go. That's gonna hit him quite a bit. And I mean, I'm getting used to this gun now. It really does suck though. All right, that should kill him there. There we go. Got another gold coin. Ooh, RNG room. So we can either get rewarded or really screwed in that room. Uh, what else do we got to our disposal over here? I'm thinking it's only that room and the generic room. So I'm going to go into the RNG room. I really wish there was a store down here. Let's double check. Oh, there is a store. Oh, thank God. Okay, I, I need some health. And there's no health in here to be found. So we can upgrade our weapon, though, at least. We got 15 gold now. So let's do ooh, damage 4, fire rate 10. Let's try and make sure we do something right here. I like the idea of a heavy blaster. It's got a damage, a decent damage rate and a decent, well, it's slow, but it's a decent fire rate. Ooh, pressure booster. I'm gonna buy that. I like buying caps just to have them at our base. Uh, and we're going to customize this gun. So we're going to remove the energy burst. I just don't like that thing. And then we're going to use the heavy blaster. Hopefully this is a little bit better. What else can we put on this? I forget, I got lots of caps. So damage plus 40, velocity plus 40, or plus 25, uh, anti-gravity damage plus 10. So I'm gonna put the heavy weight on here if I can. There we go, I can ro rotate it sideways and do that. So we're gonna attach that this time and now it's actually attached. So we should be good. Finish crafting on that and okay, it's not a fast shooter, but boy, is it gonna do some damage. I feel like I should get another gun though. Let's see, can we actually do another gun now? Let's do it. Uh, so we're going to, because we got, oh yeah, we have the connector one long. So perfect. This is a little connector here with one attachment point. That's all I want is a little basic gun. And we're going to use the energy burst rifle just in case we need it. Because the other gun is extremely slow now. So yeah, that, 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 that should be doable. At least we got this thing when we need it. 
Unfortunately, we couldn't find any health, so, uh, yeah, now we're gonna have to get lucky here. Where's that? The RNG room's over here. Hopefully, we get rewarded. Let's see what it gives us. So, it usually shows us... I don't know what that means, but that's what it's giving us. Maybe an up room? We have to go upwards, it probably sounds like. We'll find out pretty quickly, and it looks like... Whoa. Interesting room here. Oh, God. Okay. Well, oh, God. This gun's gonna take some getting used to. Now that it's actually being used. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use this thing for the small guys, but anything like a boss, this gun's gonna be perfect. Oh, we get the jumps! We, we get we get more jumps! Okay, so now I have so many jumps that I can use. Alright, we're gonna use this for this guy. That should do lots of damage. Yeah, 49 damage, so you saw that. Uh, so now we have lots of jumps. Problem being, I don't have like a good all-around weapon. I have a lot of energy using weapons. Okay, I think all we got is the big guys in the middle, so we're gonna try and get nice and close to that. There we go. Yeah, you can see that took him down to half health just with a couple hits. So this thing is really good. Oh, man. Oh, man, I didn't realize there was three in there. Damn it. There's more of them than it seems. Okay, there we go. Let's get this guy. You know what? I'm gonna use both. Man, did, did I miss all those shots? Problem is, these things are so slow, I almost should increase the velocity of this. I think that would help it a lot. We've almost taken him down, but I'm getting pretty low, too. Oh, God, I didn't realize the, the other guy was here. Oh, no. I got hit again. Okay, there we go. There we go. Take him down. Take him down. Got one. Hopefully, these guys give me some health drops, because, boy, do I need them. Is that guy down? Yes, it is. And finally, the shooty shoots. Ah, we got him. Okay, thank God. More jumps. Like, how many jumps can we have? I, I, I can basically jump wherever I want now. Speaking of that, do we want to go up there? We're low on health. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Hello! Oh, God, I pushed myself back into it. That was stupid as well. Coming back down. Let's see if I can lure anybody out down into here. Doesn't look like they want to come down at all. Okay, so we just got some... These guys are pretty easy to deal with. We're just going to boop, boop, and boop. Done. And that's it. Okay, so we got another RNG room in here. Man, I don't know if I want RNG rooms. Look at how many jumps I have. It, there's two rows of them. Uh, what else do we got down below? I really need to get some health here, so... This game is very relentless. Uh, we definitely could die here. Oh, thank God, there's a shop. Uh, good thing I looked around, and... Oh, we got a little bit of health, at least. So we're back to half health. That's good. Uh, I feel like I could still upgrade my weapon quite a bit. Spike ball launcher. Uh, yes, please. I'm gonna buy that, at least. We got lots of money to spend, so let's do it. Let's upgrade, or let's buy this Connector 3 as well. And I think I'm gonna change my weapons around a little bit. Oh my god, look at the size of this thing. That is a huge gun. Okay, so I'm gonna put my Spike Ball Launcher on this. Let's just see how this thing works for us to see if it's worth it. Oh yeah, I think that will be great actually. Just cause I can get all the little guys on the ground. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I like that. And then we're gonna make a whole new gun over here. So I'm gonna use the three connectors and for right now, uh, should I try energy burst? Because I didn't really like the heavy blaster. You know what? Probably machine gun will be the smartest, actually. And we're going to add a cap on this as well, which is going to do the anti-gravity generator. So let's try... Oh, unfortunately. Oh, it's just too big. If I move it over, it might work, but that's all right. You know what? I think we, we should be fine with just the machine gun. Now we got two big old guns. I feel like gambling again. Let's go back in here. That was kind of fun. At least I got a bunch of jumps. Oh, man. God, another jump room? Talk about unlucky. I mean, can I, can I get a health room? That, that would be much more preferable. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, I'm just going to throw some spikes down. There we go. And I don't know if these things are doing any damage, but God damn it, I love it. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, I'm scared to move because that's going to shoot me over there. Was that it? Is that it? Oh my god, okay, so I'm I'm way too scared, but obviously in a game like this, you don't know what's gonna be around a corner. Okay, shop. Ah, <sighs> please be more health. Yes, please. I could buy another spike ball launcher and do double spike balls. That would be uh, probably a stupid idea though, but uh, it is kind of tempting. I don't know if we have that, so I'm gonna buy that one and back to uh, moving on. I think the only place I can go is this, so let's do it. Room six. I think this is the most rooms I've ever done. So hopefully uh, we get some good loot here because that's what it's all about. Ooh, small room. Small rooms are always scary. Okay, there we go. There we go. Spike balls right into the face. Oh, God, don't shoot the whoop me. Yep, this is a shoot the whooper. Thankfully, very easy to avoid. We just got to kind of avoid it here. Ooh, this thing does a lot of damage. The spike balls are doing, is it 20s? Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. Got the level two down. 
see you later, sucker. And that's a good sign. That is the finish line right there, guys. So I think we did it. Now, is there any stores here where I can spend some of this money? I think you keep the money anyways, but obviously it'd be great to look for some good uh, materials. But no, if we have to go through, that's totally fine. Another successful job. How did we do there? Shots fired a lot. Damage caused a lot. Enemies killed a eh, decent amount. And uh, we took a lot of damage as well, though. All right. This is not a self-destruct button. Definitely not. Totally not. Nicely done. And there's all the parts we collected in that run. So that's all stuff that we get to keep in our inventory. Did we level up? Yes, we can upgrade our suit as well. That's always exciting. And look at all the... <laughs> I love the... Uh, the jump power-ups that I got. All right, and there is two successful missions in Mother Gunship, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Let me know what you guys think of this game, because uh, this is a genre I'm really passionate about. I'm not great at playing them, but I do really enjoy doing them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys do want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to know anything more about this game, as always, link me in the description as well. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.